Jumping out of a balloon with a paraglider and trying to land back in the same balloon has never been done before. And there's a reason why. It won't stop spinning. Because if it starts doing that as I'm exiting, it's going to be ugly. We started toying with the idea of actually draping a paraglider out of the balloon and flipping over it, descending the balloon, and catching up to it and possibly landing back in the basket. I have lost a tremendous amount of altitude very, very quickly. And it would just start spinning and I couldn't control it. The ground just makes you believe you're, you're coming so fast at the balloon, you know? To try to, to focus just on the basket as if nothing else exists is very difficult at a low altitude. Yeah. If you could ever put together a group of people that could make something like this happen, you know, it's Cliff Ryder. You got a little gust, about seven. It's Mark Broderick. Well, that's, uh, that looks pretty good. Chain out. It's the balloon pilot, Scott Nichols. You want to take one more look at the balloon? You want to take another look at the balloon? It's, you know, Will Gadd. It's Chris Santa Croce. This great big group of, you know, technical expertise. Kind of the dream team for something like this. Well, there are a lot of concerns, and uh, one of those concerns is the ability for Bill to uh, land into the basket on the first try. You know, he's, he's not getting a second shot. It might not be done the first time, it might not go so smoothly, but uh, if anyone can land that paraglider back in that balloon, it's Bill here. It's, I don't look at this as reckless behavior, I look at it as a very calculated uh, expression of my humanity and the thing that makes my life worthwhile, and I don't do that in a reckless way. So come out and join us nice. on this epic adventure as I jump from a balloon and attempt to land back in the balloon on the same flight.